Hey guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. I know you're not seeing me for this video at the intro, but I thought I would show you guys the overall look of these walls in my music room because there's been a pretty big update on what's been put up. So let's get started. Let's go up to the top right here. This first one is a framed. Tom Waits album of Blue Valentine. Unfortunately, that is, I believe, an original American pressing that it was in such terrible shape record wise. And I decided to frame it. And there are some records that are from that state that I decided to frame them instead of selling them because who does that? Anyway, uh, by the way, that's a very good Tom Waits album. Uh, really glad to have this actually. This one here is very nostalgic, and I know you're going to turn away and click away from this video, but this was one of the very first posters I had owned. This is Green Day's American Idiot. To me, when Green Day were my favourite band in my uh, early, early years, say when I was like 11 or 12, because I was obsessed with this band. Uh, in my opinion, back when they used to be great. Down below it is a framed Genesis Live record, and uh, I believe that this is the um, the unofficial pressing that I decided to frame up, because I do have another pressing that is actually uh, a band pressing that has the Buddha Records label at the back, which that record label had nothing to do with Genesis. Anyway, so that is the framed unofficial pressing. Uh, over here, this is probably an original of this Metallica Poor Touring Me poster um, from the era of Load, in my opinion, one of my favourite Metallica albums. And it is a really, really cool poster. I mean, look at that. Got all of the guys in their separate individual shots. And... Just a bigger size of them playing. Up ahead is this brilliant Iron Maiden poster of The Number of the Beast. Always one of my favourite Iron Maiden albums. Next to that is the canvas of Kraftwerk's The Man Machine that I decided to buy on eBay because I was obsessed with Kraftwerk. Still am, and uh, why not just have a big big picture of the album cover uh up here this is just a random poster uh like a replica uh it's reprinted uh in 98 of the the big bath blues and progressive music uh festival uh in 70 and uh that looks really cool to put up now this one i have some history with um i tried to buy the most best conditioned copy of Genesis selling England by the pound. Thankfully, I have got the great condition pressing of the album, but this one, along with a few others, were in a very mediocre shape, and uh, I just decided to frame one of them. So there you go. Uh, next to that is this Rolling Stones poster because why not one of my favorite bands of all time next to that if i can zoom in there you go that is the uh, most unplayable record in the collection that i decided to frame up seriously when i tried to play it it was just a shit ton of jumps and skips and scratches everywhere it did not play properly at all uh, that's free's debut album uh, called Tons of Sobs. Great album, by the way. Uh, next is uh, a poster of my favourite guitarist of all time. I don't need an introduction. And this one here is just very random. This is another canvas uh, art style of Jimmy. Uh, next one here was one of the uh, other first few posters I did purchase. Uh, an ACDC discography poster uh, from high voltage to ball breaker uh, down here that's just a random uh, little mini poster 
of Jimmy. And next to that is uh, another ACDC Metal Hammer poster of Angus Young. Next to that is actually an original US pressing of Black Sabbath's Sabotage. Thankfully, I did purchase uh, an original UK pressing um, along with Blue Valentine, which I did show earlier in the video. I did buy that one of Sabotage. But again, condition-wise, was pretty much almost the same as Blue Valentine. Uh, and I thought it would be very cool to frame that one. Up here is this ACDC poster of my favourite ACDC album of all time, Highway to Hell. And if I zoom out real quick, up here is a Pink Floyd poster of Dark Side of the Moon. Just the prism artwork not much needed to be said on that and here's another pink floyd poster uh live the rainbow theater 72 uh before dark side of the moon was released to the public as an album now this last bit here is what we call it a little beatles corner uh that is an item that was from the beatles story uh, after I did go through the Magical Mystery Tour and uh, looked at the Beatles story convention. That is obviously uh, the infamous Abbey Road poster. And here's another Beatles poster with the discography and some of the later compilations. That one up there is just a random uh, hand-drawn picture of the Fab Four that... I did buy from a charity shop. Next to that is, uh, sorry for the reflection, that's a framed picture of Abbey Road. And down below it is a framed Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And the poster next to them is the Sgt. Pepper poster. I was at the phase of purchasing a lot of Sgt. Pepper's stuff because Sgt. Pepper's... Um, became my favourite album of all time. Uh, now, Sgt. Pepper and Revolver are two of my favourite albums of all time. And the last bit to show you is that actual autographed framed picture of Ian Brown. And I still do have the Certificate of Authenticity. Uh, unfortunately, I can't find it uh, for the purpose of this video. But... Um, that is a really cool picture of the man himself. And you may not see that very, very well. I'll zoom in a bit. Uh, it's limited to 150. So 150 of this picture was made and it was very, very cool. Anyways, with that being said, guys, that is the update through these walls. Uh, in the music room. Thank you very much for watching. And, as always, I will keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.